We talked a little bit about the Tesla robots, but let's talk about Tesla vehicles. Um, a couple things going on. This week was a big week because there was a, some delivery and production numbers that came out. Uh, the company produced some big numbers, um, but delivered well below expectations. Stock got hammered. Questions are coming. Is Tesla, is, is it the end of days for Tesla? Are people losing interest in EVs? By the way, everybody loves to hate Elon Musk. And I just want to point out, um, did he not share something? I think I shared it with you this week, and I wish I could dig it up, okay? I really do wish I could dig it up uh, quickly for you, but I can't. But I can remember what I shared with you. And it was something along the lines of te uh, Twitter having just, like, best numbers it's ever had. You're not going to make me go back and answer that, are you? No, no, I just want to flash it up. You know, it just came through, and we stopped talking about that. I wanted to well, get it. It's something. fairly different technology. I mean, you're yeah. talking an analytics platform versus a data protection platform. Yeah. Um, but uh, there was a nice article. I'll put it in the show notes that our team actually put out about the uh, about the rubric filing. And then uh, we also were covered in the media quite a bit. So we'll, we'll put some links in the show notes for everybody out there. But uh, um, so anyways, there's kind of, you know, that, by the way, I just mentioned that X is having like all time high engagement on the platform. Now, again, nobody's reporting this. Who would report it? Right. It's like. But Pat, I got to tell you, I wake up, I have to check twi I have Twitter, X. I, I probably look at it like 400 times a day. And I think every other app on my phone, it's like once, twice, yeah. maybe, maybe messages and email a little bit more. I love the platform. It's amazing for getting real-time information. I don't know where else you would go, but whether I'm checking F1, EPL scores, or I want to know what's going on in tech, nowhere better to go. Tesla, by the way, numbers are off. Demand is down. Um, you know, they had to lower prices to blow out an, a growing uh, number of Model 3 and Y that hit the, sh hit the streets. There is something going on. And by the way, this isn't just Tesla. The whole sort of demand and this whole EVs are going to take over the world in the next few years seems to be somewhat stalling out. I've, I've been watching on um, some of the Twitters and press about like Ford uh, Mustang mocks. These, you know, a year ago, they were going at 10, 20K over list. Dealers are blowing these things out at 20K in some cases below list and offering finance rates that are lower than the 10-year the right now yield to try to get people to buy these things. I think people are, are frustrated and struggling with infrastructure. I know we're seeing some charging infrastructure going into place, Pat, but if you have range anxiety and you actually drive anywhere far, but the, you know, the, the long and the short question is, is Tesla you know, hitting the end, hitting peak? Um, as their growth stalled, I think it has stalled a little bit. Um, but it also is uh, interesting because, you know, I mentioned the Xiaomi thing and the lower price and some of the interest coming around that. And Tesla is supposed to have a Model 2 coming, and they're also supposed to be doing robotic taxis, two big initiatives going on at the same time. The Model 2 is supposed to come in a low price. And this, did you see, I don't know if you saw Reuters put out a note that basically got heavily shared and tweeted that um, Musk was scrapping his plans for the Model 2. Um, Musk came out with a reply to one of them. I think it was the Zero Hedge tweet that basically said, Reuters is lying again. So there's a big conflict going on. There's a war in the media. Musk is basically building a probably one of the most viewed platforms on the planet for media and information. And then you got this kind of war with the broader press that are trying to constantly sort of challenge Musk and everything he does. Definitely not interested in seeing him being successful. But the numbers are also showing some consternation in the marketplace around EVs. Do we need a lower price one, Pat? Do we need a, 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 a Model 2 in the 20s? Is that even achievable? I feel like it cost me 20 grand to go to the grocery store right now and just get food for the house, let alone to buy a car. So if he can actually get a Model 2 that's going to be sub 30K, that'll be crazy. Having said that, I think winning the, the autonomy race is more important than coming out with a 20K, 25K Model 2 vehicle. Um, and so I do think, and I could see maybe some prioritization right now on the Model 2. Um, or sorry, flip that. Prioritization on the robotic taxi. You know, he has made this FSD a big thing. He did talk this week about licensing uh, self-drive to other vehicle makers. Very interesting. Could he be putting more focus there, slowing down on the production? He's now making right-hand vehicles. He's doing all kinds of things. I don't think they're in trouble. I think it's short-term. I think we're in a bit of a lull. I think we're, you know, I'm going to end where I started, Pat, and I'm going to pass it back to you. I think 
the numbers we get fed about where the economy is at versus where it's actually at are not the same. I don't think we're as strong as people want us to believe. I think there's a lot of revisions going on in the data. I think, you know, people are a little bit more nervous. Interest rates are still high. They're not spending as fast. And that, of course, is going to impact the car industry. But I do think electrification isn't picking up quite as fast as people want for vehicles, uh, at least people that want to see us go all electric in the near term. I have two things to bring up. First thing are interest rates in uh, in 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 new cars. Uh, the first thing is so so the typical uh, credit score in the United States is around uh, seven hundred. It's pretty do good. You know, do you know what the interest rate for a car is if you have a seven hundred? Eight point five. Twelve point six five percent is the come on as of today. And you know what? If you're six ninety nine, it's seventeen point eight four percent. Yeah, we're in the wrong business, dude. It is absolutely ridiculous. So that's one point. I do think that's weighing on um, Tesla in in the United States and in China. There's a whole heck of a lot of competition, and there is a freaking price war going on. And with all that capital expenditure that uh, the company has made in China uh, with a factory, uh, they have to sell stuff out. So they're slinging mud and they're in the mud with uh, the Chinese manufacturers. The only way that Tesla gets out of that mess is, is first of all, bleeding the competitors, but also uh, robotic manufacturing. And that's where... I think Optimus uh, comes uh, comes into play, uh, and those people who are looking for EVs and not necessarily the self driving capabilities, there is a lot of competition that's uh, that's out there right now. Um, now the combination of EV plus the level of safety that uh, Tesla brings to the table is un unparalleled. Uh, there's a full self driving uh, uh, capability that's uh, out there uh, in beta, but it's not even necessarily. I mean, it, it, it's not approved, and multiple people hey, uh, aren't looking at that uh, right now. So, lots of things going on. I think there's a lot of Elon. Uh, we hate Elon out there, as you as you said uh, in uh, in in the run up. But more competition, interest rates, uh, interest rate sucks. Tesla needs to come out with their next uh, hurrah, and I think you mentioned two, which is RoboTaxi plus uh, this this Model Two, which we manufacture here in our awesome Austin, Texas. If I were on my other porch on the other side, you might even be able to get a glimpse of. And the, everybody, uh, that's not a fake background. That's the way Pat lives. I oh, see come that. on now, Dusty. Yeah, good looking background, man. That's that's a dream for me and most Tesla Model Three owners. Um, by the way, uh, you know the model, <laughs> the Model Three. They did also offer huge discounts, but you do realize, like, so I, I'm a, I'm a bit of a car guy, everybody. So if you get zero percent interest, Pat, it's sixteen dollars and sixty seven cents per thousand on a five year note. So I mean, yeah. if you buy a thirty thousand dollar car, it's like five hundred something bucks a month or something like around five hundred bucks. At sixteen percent. On a thirty thousand dollar car, you've added right, like right. You saw the you saw the meme of that lady talking about uh, her three thousand dollar a month um, uh, monthly bill for her car. Dude, you're adding almost six thousand dollars a year of interest. No, I mean, I, I mean, think you're about five hundred dollars a month with another five hundred dollars a month of interest. So you just doubled the payment for the same vehicle, and people are going, oh, what? Okay, inflation's a problem, people, and interest rates of 16% to buy a freaking car. Man, man, we go back uh, where food was priced five years ago. There's not a single measurement that says we aren't up 25%. And you think of the typical American family trying to pay, you know, pay for food. Uh, we've seen that uh, energy in California, electricity is up, what, 50%. I mean... So are we getting three percent? Who's what's that? Where's the three percent number come from? It's a joke. It 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 that that's that's year over year. But what that doesn't bring into account 
uh, that real wages are stagnant. If real wages are stagnant, and inflation went went up one year, twelve percent, then seven, and then three, uh, you can stack you can stack all of those increases and, and look back. And that's very frustrating for me. And I feel like you know I'm not in this elitist type of thing, but it's such an elitist type of uh, point of view to forget about the the increases over the last five years. That's what's devastating to Americans, and people are like, "Gosh, uh, inter, you know, inflation is, is is tame." And why do people still think the economy sucks? They can't afford cars. Food is expensive. Electricity and gas are still more expensive. Actually, I need to go back and look at gas. Electricity is in certain states, and my gosh, there are certain insurers uh, in California who are pulling out saying that properties are uninsurable. Uh, so, and, and what happens when competition pulls out of anything? Average insurance uh, rates for homes are going up.